See, I got I got a little baby. Oh, they're so cute. I got the little baby shake. What's up, Basil Babes? This is your girl Joy back with another video, honey. You know, I got the tea for y'all. I'm back in a closet. I know when I'm in a closet, I'll be talking about stuff, okay? But you didn't hear this from me. But before I get into the tea, honey, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm be shaking these braids around, y'all. I just redid these braids. It took me about three days. <laughs> well, I started Friday after work. Well, Friday late. With the whole process started friday uh did some stuff saturday i worked till 2 30 on the braids till 2 30 in the morning and then i finished at 9 30 p.m sunday yeah so my whole weekend and they're extra long how you doing i got a scarf honey i got a scarf open the door <laughs> So sometimes when I take the long drive home and I get home, I sit in my car before I come in the house. I, I, I just need to decompress before I come into my house. Do you ever have that feeling? Like before, when you get home, you just need a minute. Can I get a minute to just decompress? Leave it all behind me because tomorrow's going to be a new day. Just give me a minute to get my attitude right so I don't bring that energy from back there in here. So give me a minute. And if you don't give me a minute, beware. Because you're going to get some of my leftover out here. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? I know my thing is beeping. It doesn't beep all the time. It beeps, <laughs> it beeps when I enter the room. Okay, so let me know they think about me. <laughs> anyway. So then I'm sitting in my car, minding my business, catching up on emails, messages, whatever it is. Or sometimes I'm playing a game. I play like a word scramble game, whatever. Or I'm playing my game, okay? Minding my business. Sometimes I have to take a deep breath when one of my kids come out to the car. Because this is supposed to be my moment <laughs> before I go in the house to deal with kids. So I'm trying to get my attitude right, but I don't go to the kid. The kids come to me sometimes and I'm like, yes, you know, you try to hold it in. You don't want to be rude. You don't want to be mean. So you take that deep breath. You inhale. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be in in a second. Give me a minute. Just one second. Okay, hold that thought. Matter of fact, here, have a seat next to me. We'll, we'll just talk it out in the car. Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost like, I feel like it's an invasion of my moment. Because once I get in the house, the, the, the moment is gone. Unless I lock my door that doesn't really lock. <laughs> Connie Child sent me a lock. <laughs> You know, I'm just going to call this channel the Connie and Joy Show, okay? That's what we're going to do. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I think it's only, no, I think it's Basilicious Bites. You type in Basilicious Bites. It used to be only in Basil's world. I don't know. You may type that in too and get to it. I don't know. So anyway, Sydney comes out to the car. And I was like, hello, because all three of my kids, they're different. So I can't talk to them all the same. They're, they're just different, okay? They're, they're different, so you treat them different. You know, so, you know, like if I talk to them the way, you know, Clinton be getting on my nerves, they'd be ready to <laughs> go cuckoo. So, so I was like, yes, and she sits in the car, of course, looking not happy. <laughs> I was like, so, how was your day? Because they had the day off. Today's President's Day. They had the day off. You know, I keep messing with these braids, y'all. I'm not, I'm not used to these braids. I don't know. Maybe I just like them when they get old. I'm about to put them up in a second. Quiet, 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 quiet. So I was like, hey, how was your day? Uh -huh. You know, this is my moment. You know, it's my moment. But that's okay. I'll share my moment with you. So... She was upset, and you know, now that she's, that she starts crying, I'm like, No, 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 no. I was having a moment here. No, I feel 
like cry because my moment is just gone. So I'm like, what's the matter, dear? What's the matter? Why are you upset? And then she goes, you know, as she goes into explaining why she's upset, blah, blah, blah. So overall, she, she as she gets closer to her faith in God and stuff, she realizes there are certain people who no longer bring her joy, so to speak. They don't add positive energy to her life. So I said, unfortunately, Sydney, as you get closer to your faith, you change. Your friends may not change, but you're changing. And I said, as you're changing, you're building a community around you with your church family. You have built an entire army of new people, new friends, new faith, people who love you. Look how fast you raised your money for your trip. I said, everybody loves you, you know. Um, you have built a new community and if it's at the risk or at the sacrifice of losing one or two friends who no longer bring you joy or uplift your spirit or try not to look at what you've lost or what you're about to lose look at how much you've gained you've gained a whole new family she's like but i don't have any friends i don't have any friends at school you know if i'm not friends with you know x y and z and this and that and i was like but sydney if they're not making you a better person or if they're not uplifting your spirit you have to let them go i said sorry about that bobby had to come in here see i didn't lock my door it wouldn't matter anyway because it doesn't anyway let's see how that lock works that connie sent and if that person is not bringing you joy, uplifting your spirit, they're not doing it for you, then they don't need to be in your life. So you're moving on to, you know, a stronger faith, a stronger community. So you need to be thankful for that. You've gained maybe over a hundred plus people who love you and adore you, who pray with you, and you give up one or two or three. Hmm. So, and I tried to give an analogy to me, to her, and I was like, it's kind of like the same thing. You know, I say you may miss that person, but you know that person is not right for you. Or those people are not right for you. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, you got to let friendships go. And so, I think she felt a little better when you put it in perspective of being thankful for what you have and not for what you're letting go. So, I think think you know the tears stop I was like does that make sense you you've gained so much so don't look at it as a loss look at it as a gain and what's going to be right on your spirit you know what I mean so hmm so hopefully my words have calmed her or soothed her spirit a little I don't know yeah take the whole thing See what I was talking about, about my moment? Can never have my moment. So, <coughs> if you're still here. The other thing, I don't know how, well I had to stop the camera. So the other thing that happened today, and I really want to do it. I have to find out. They're doing a homeless project. Well, they invited my school, I guess it's for high school and middle school students. But they um, want kids to experience what it's like being homeless and I think it's called the cardboard project and I'm gonna see if I can do it I think it would make such an awesome awesome vlog but you sleep in a cardboard box overnight to see what it's like I think I would love it just I don't know I'm weird I'm looking for the day where I could just rid myself of all material things and just be free I am so looking forward to it. Um, one of my subscribers told me about, um, I don't know what it's called, something in Japan, home, not homeless in Japan, a nomad in Japan, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's people that just live off the grid in Japan. But you, you, you live like a nomad, you're just free. And then as I was doing my hair, I watched tons and tons and tons of movies, right? And I watched Adrift. Oh man, although her man, her boo thing, I'm not even going to get the movie away. But man, I was like, 
God, that would be the life you just on the sea. I don't know how to swim, so I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, I'm not saying I want to do that. But the freedom to just be free, just exist, just just exist and just just be with your thoughts i don't know it's just like this life now is like it's like it's always i just want to exist so i think the car even living in a car i don't want to do that okay <laughs> but you know just living in a cardboard box and i don't know it's just i think about just having the time to just sit and read physically turn the pages of a book it's just something that i miss i love the art i listen to audiobooks every single day but the art of reading the pages the words on the pages and turning the page is just something so special about that and i don't do that anymore a because i don't have the time it's like sometimes my brain doesn't slow down enough just to hmm so yesterday was great so connie <laughs> because my car is jacked up <laughs> she sent me a, a neck massager and i took a long hot shower after my braids were done and i was just i was tired and i just laid in my bed and had the neck massager going and i did that for 30 minutes i felt a little guilty i did feel a little guilty and the neck massager was just going again i just laid there i tried to position it on my lower back but that was hurting me so i was like i just my eyes it was just wonderful have my candles lit it was just such a beautiful experience just to be in that that zen zone the candles the massager it was quiet i don't know sydney wasn't here i don't know i don't know what she i think she was asleep because she did a church retreat uh, last weekend it was just wonderful it was it was wonderful and just you know not arguing it was it was just nice just to be at peace for that brief moment in time and then you know got to work and got a little irritated by some adults and some kids and I still love them <laughs> all right guys i have talked to you to death please check out my instagram i'll probably do it tomorrow so it might be up on wednesday i have to plan this one out it's a funny it's a funny one it's a funny one of course connie child's involved in that one too <laughs> so but it's gonna be a funny funny <laughs> so it may be a little clip for instagram it, it won't be a vlog but it'll be a clip for instagram so i'm looking forward to that because it is pretty funny I think so. I haven't done it yet, but you know, I have things in my head and sometimes I have the things in my head that just is just waiting to come out, come out to meet you, to meet me. Cause sometimes I just don't know what's going to come out. Okay. I just don't, you know, the goal is to make it to the gym after work. I have not done that yet. So because I'm usually tired, my alarm clock goes up at 430. I don't necessarily get up at 430, but I'm tired, but I'm awake when my alarm clock goes off. I'm just up. So, um, so if you know of like an energy powder, a natural one that I can take to give me that boost of energy, just a little boost of energy so I can make it to the gym after work, even just to do some way. I'm still a flabby bag of skin non-muscles that's what i am okay it is what it is you know i almost got this look at that hey, come on shake for me baby shake <laughs> look at that see i got i got a little baby oh they so cute i got the little baby shake oh there it is, there it is. <laughs> did y'all see that shake <laughs> You know, I, I'm trying to work that out. No, I'm not trying to work it out because I don't work it out. So that means I'm not trying to work it out. But in my head, I want to work it out. Yeah, but I'm just always tired after work. And then my back is hurting me because I'll be on a steering wheel. I'm going to try. I'm gonna, That was my chair. That was my chair, okay? So I'm going to try to get that worked out this week. But then how I'm going to do that because by the time I get out of school, the car places are closed. <sighs> One day at a time, Joy. One day at a time. Hopefully this week it'll be, I can take the car in. So that is the plan. So I think that's all I got for now. I mean, I have more. I really do. But I think that's all I'm going to do for now. <laughs> I will get, get more to you later. <laughs>
I just want to give you guys that tea. I appreciate you guys for loving me. You know, all five of my subscribers, honey, okay? All five of y'all. Yes. <laughs> I love you to death. And thank you for loving me and my crazy self and, you know, my silly self. <laughs> my cute self sometimes and sometimes my ugly self. You know, I have all types of looks, okay? Sometimes I try to do the sexy look. What, that, that wasn't it? No? <laughs> So I have all types of looks. It depends what mood I'm in, okay? But you know, I am grown. I am grown, y'all. I mean, I act like it all the time, but I, I really, I am grown. Sometimes. I try anyway. <laughs> I try to pretend like I am. <laughs> but you know, that inner child just comes out and she likes to play. <laughs> you want to come play with me?